Now it's time to talk about ethics in data. We're not going to do a deep dive, but it is important that you're always thinking about it because it can affect your model and your outcomes. We're going to revisit the four machine learning algorithm categories that Francesca introduced us to at the beginning of this video series. Let's go through these one by one. First, we had predicting between categories. For example, a question might be, is this a romantic movie or is this an adventure movie? If our data only consisted of adventure movies that had all male cast, that would be a problem because then any movie that had a non-male actor in it would be classified as a romantic movie. And we know that's simply not correct. The next category was discovering patterns in our data. For example, what will my customers buy next? Again, if your data consists of customers that are only single men with no children, then if I became a customer of yours, it would completely throw off your model because on any given day, I may have a potty book for my toddler, a new bra for me, and some truck rims for my husband's big truck. We wanna make sure that our data is accurately representing our customers and those that might be affected by whatever solution we're building. Taking a look at images and natural language, for images, our question was, does this image represent a dog or a cat? Now, my poor dog Winston, who's a King Charles Cavalier Spaniel, is pretty small, and he probably wouldn't like it if he was classified as a cat. Now, that might be kind of silly, but it can be important if we're using some kind of classification like that to make decisions on care or food or training or something like that for the animal. Similarly, if we're trying to answer a question such as, what is the customer feedback on our products? but we're only getting customer feedback from those who have iPhones. So for example, maybe we have a different app, one for iPhones, one for Android phones, and the feature for feedback only works on the iPhone version, that's gonna skew our results because we're not gonna, going to be getting the entire population of our customers. We're only going to be getting feedback from a particular demographic, those who use iPhones. And lastly, we'll think about regression. So this is the model that we used in this video series. So either predicting sale quantities per item or to bring it back to this series, trying to predict how many bikes might be rented in the next 14 days. If our data only consists of a particular holiday season, it's going to very much skew our results. As you noticed, we not only specified the date of um, all of the bikes that are being rented for this series, but we also specified that we were gathering data from the United States. This is important because if we build a model based on dates and data from the United States, it may not be accurate for other countries because their holidays might be different and their usage just might be different. So again, making sure that the data accurately represents all of your customers and or those who might be affected by your solutions is critical. So I'll leave you with these five questions to ask yourself continuously before you start building, while you're building, and when you're going through iterations. What data are you collecting and why? Are you collecting data that you don't need to be collecting? Is that skewing your results in an unethical way? What data are we not collecting and why? For example, if I wasn't collecting weather data for my bike sharing app, well, then that would really skew my results because I wouldn't realize that on days when it's very rainy, fewer bikes get rented. Are we missing any data sources? And I use this one in a broad sense because I want to include people. Are we missing any people that might be able to be providing data to you um, and you just simply aren't asking for it? What questions are you asking? We spent the beginning of this video series coming up with the right question to ask and recognizing the parts of our data that can help us answer that question. We should make sure that any questions that we're trying to ask are ethical and that they're based on how we can support our customers and not based on opinions. And finally, how are we ensuring that we are constantly improving the ethics in our process? 
We're humans. We get things wrong. But how are you going to make sure that the predictions that you're making or the decisions that you're making are based off of ethical data collection, ethical data manipulation, and ethical data processing? So anytime you're dealing with data, anytime you're building any kind of solution in tech, you should be thinking about how does ethics play a role in your solution?